Okay, here we are at uh, question number 11. Let's go ahead and get our pencil ready. Green again. We're given two sets, this time I and F, defined here as such. Answer each part of the question, such and such. So uh, we want to find the intersection. What does I intersect F? So that is what elements do they have in common? So they both have a negative one. Let's maybe list that over here. Uh, they don't have a one, three, four, six. Oh, there, they both have a six. That's common. And they both have a seven. So that's the intersection. We'll come back and fill that in in a minute because I just feel like moving on. How about the union? It's everything in I and everything in F. So you could just list all of I. And then what else are we going to have? Well, anything that wasn't already mentioned. So we see negative one's not there. Uh, one, one, three, four, the five is going to get added in. The six and seven's there. So it's that's this is the union of the two would be I. Plus the only thing that's missing in F that isn't an I is a five. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. Um, be nice if you could answer me video and then I can make the adjustments but I guess that's what that's what class is for so we're gonna put everything in from I um, you get a one click on that thing uh, we'll do one three four five six and seven it might not matter if you don't have it in order, but it's also, for organizational purposes, kind of good to put it in order. Uh, negative one, this thing, and then six and seven. Uh, that's number 11 for us. Keep it on, keep it moving, and um, we'll move on to 12. 